Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Stormworks video and welcome to part 7 of the supply ship build. Today, the goal is to build a diving room of some sort. <laughs> Something that can be sealed off from the rest of the boat to allow us to go diving underneath our ship, which I think would be pretty nice. Uh, we'll probably build it down here in between these two hallways, I think they are. <laughs> um, yeah, somewhere down here anyway. I think it'd be pretty nice, so let's get started. Alrighty guys, so to do this, we're going to head down into the bottom of the boat and we're going to get in this room right here. So... We need to put some sort of little hatch that opens up to the outside. So maybe here. Not that big though. And we'll get some door frames. Uh, we'll go white for now. Uh, what do we need? The frame corner. This is what we're going to need. And we'll go maybe here. We don't need it so big. So maybe if we go like that. And we'll have three gap in the middle. So we go one, two, three. And then we'll put another one right here. Uh, we'll turn them like that. And then we'll grab the edges. And we'll turn them around the right way. And go along like that. And we'll go in the middle here as well. And boop, and we'll do the same thing right there. Perfect. Awesome. So we'll fill in the rest of that. <laughs> um, now, we need to get rid of that, don't we? We need to build the actual piece that is going to open. Um, so we'll go like this. We'll put a little hatch in, uh, a little hinge, sorry. So we'll go door, and we'll grab a hinge, and we'll stick that right here. Turn that around like so. Perfect. All right, we'll grab uh, some panel corners. We'll stick them right next to that. Oopsie. Oop, oop. Turn them around. Yes. <laughs> And we'll grab some of these, turn them up. Yes, we'll go along to there. Grab some corners and do the same thing like that. Very good. Like that. Turn these upside down. Whoop, turn them around. <laughs> They're all over the place, man. And we'll put a porthole right in the middle of that. I think it looked pretty cool. Uh, we'll just turn it sideways like so. Awesome. So that is going to be where we actually go out. Now, we need to turn this into some sort of diving room. And it needs to be sealed off separately, just this bit anyway. So maybe we could have a little room here that you get ready in and then you go through a sealed door into that room and there is the hatch. I think that is how it's going to work. So what we'll do, we'll put some more uh, frames along here. Uh, actually, we don't have to be so big with that, do we? We could probably put them just like that, just a little door. That's probably enough. So we could probably fill that back in and we'll grab some of those edges. We'll come up the side here, turn them around. Oh, yep, like that. And we'll come up to there, three, four, five, six, seven. That should be fine. Um, maybe, how tall is that? Okay, we could probably go like this, turn that around, boop, 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 <laughs> like that, and we'll put a piece in the middle as well. Alrighty guys, that is how the door is going to look, just with a little window in it, and a two-sided toggle button, so we can get to it from the in and the out, which is pretty nice. Um, now, I might make this hallway slightly wider, because we don't need all this extra room in here. So if we chop down, the, oh, both sides actually, chop down this wall there, yes, and we'll do the same thing here. And we might just widen it by two because we don't need all that room. And I'd rather have a wide hallway. I think that is a little bit better. So we go up like that to be fine. And then we'll just fill that in like so. So a bit more room to walk up and down there, which is nice. Yes, perfect. All right, now this is going to be the diving room. So this will be where we're going to get ready. So we could probably continue that up like this. Yeah, something like that. And we'll come up to there maybe. That should be big enough. So you can walk in here through another door. Just maybe one of these, a sliding door. So we'll put that in there. I'll bring it out to here. That should be fine. So we'll just come out a little bit more. Whoopsie, daisy. <laughs> and we'll come up like that. Perfect. So that will be the diving room. So you walk in here. And then this is the little lock. And you go in there to seal it up. And then this room will flood. Um, we don't need it this big as well, actually. Because it's got to fill up with water. So that could take a little while. But that is enough room to kind of muck around and get in there anyway. So that'll be fine. So we have this spare little spot. Maybe that can just be like a maintenance area. Maybe we could put a door in there. Yeah, so we can get in there if we have to. That should be okay. Oh, what is that doing there? <laughs> or we could just have it so you walk straight through. That is also okay. Maybe we'll just do that. We can put a few little wedges on here. And maybe we'll find something to do with that little area. But for now, that's what it will be. We'll put some corners on here too. All right, guys. So since we have clear access to this now before we put a lid on it, we'll put some diving equipment in and some spear guns and whatnot. So we'll start with the diving equipment. And we're going to do it on both sides. So if you guys or anyone use this in multiplayer, there is multiple um, outfits, which is pretty cool. So we'll go like that. And we'll go spear gun. We'll have four of them as well. We'll have enough for four people. How about that? Uh, we'll turn this upside down. Is that correct? No, that'll be fine. <laughs> and we'll get some spear gun ammo. Uh, we'll place that on the wall here. Boop, 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 boop. That should be enough. Three for each one. That should be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, we'll fill that in like so. That should be fine. Yeah. Double thick walls. We definitely don't need that. But anyway. Um, now, we need a little way to fill this room. Maybe this room actually can be the pump room. That might be better. 
That to be much better. We'll go like that. And we'll get rid of these. And we'll put, we will put some doors on it though, so you can get in there if we ever need to. Um, so we'll just go like that. And we'll just grab some of these. That'll be fine. Um, that'll probably work. Oh, maybe we'll have the doors open outways. Like that. So that doesn't disturb anything in there. Unless we just do it on one side. That might be better actually. Perfect. So we'll go uh, pumps. Now we need to have maybe two to come in and two to go out. That might be all right. So we'll go one, two. Should we have three? No, we'll do we'll do two. When I said before, go like that. Hopefully that's enough to fill it and empty it quick enough. That's all. Hmm. Maybe we should just go three, just in case. Should we go like this? Yeah, that'll probably be all right. We'll do that. Uh, we'll go some pipes and we need some portholes, don't we? So we'll go hmm, one here and one there. We'll put those in first, put them upside down like that and like that. Perfect. Go back to pipes, whoop, pipe, and we'll come up one. Definitely not that. <laughs> uh, we'll turn it up that way, go like this, yes, and then we'll go some, then we'll go some of these, plop, and plop. Awesome. So now we'll link all these together and then we'll make it go into the actual room to flood it. So we'll connect all of this down that way and turn that around. Perfect. Yes, um, that needs to go there. Turn that around. And now these need to go into that room somehow. <laughs> so maybe, I don't want it to be too much in the way of the door, that's all. Hmm, that could be a problem, couldn't it? Maybe we could have this door sit out a little bit. We'll put this in first. So we'll go like that. And that will go to, not there. There, yes. And then we've got this one that can come up a or down a level maybe. Might be better. Turn that around. Wee. And that can come straight over underneath it. So if we go port on each one of those. So we go like this and like that. Perfect. And then we'll go pipe. And we'll make that run straight across. So turn that like that. Perfect. That's okay. <laughs> um, now we need to put that door back on, don't we? So if we put it on outside here, slightly out. Maybe they're going to open into each other. So maybe we can have it open in still. Would that be all right? Should be. We can still get in there. It's just not ideal, really, is it? Mm, maybe we could get rid of some of this. Oopsie. <laughs> get rid of that one. We'll put the door back in like that. That might be a bit better, actually. Yep, we'll do that. And we'll bring that up to there. And we'll put some wedges on it. And then bring it around. So if we go like that and fill that in. Oopsie. Fill that in. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let's get rid of that then. That doesn't need to be there or that. Okay, that should work okay, hopefully. And we got the ports on the bottom. Uh, we'll paint on that after we're finished. So now we need to have the controls to flood this room. So we'll go toggle button and we'll put them all on. Which way is all open? We'll put them on this wall over here. So we have a little control thing of a jiggly. Um, maybe we could put them on the outside and then make it come out with some wedges. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, I'll show you what I mean in a sec. So that will be flood, that will be empty, and we'll have a dial to tell us how full the room is. Oh, turn that around. Yes. All right, so we're going to need one of these liquid meters. We'll just put that over here in the... Oh, put it in the middle, I guess. Put it right there. That'll be fine. And turn that around. Perfect. So that can go... The level can go to there. And we're also going to need the capacity, I suppose. Maybe we could put another dial in. It can display that for us. Uh, we'll turn that around. Yes, so that will be uh, level. And this will be capacity. We'll just go cap. <laughs> Uh, we'll go zero, we'll just, I'll leave it at one, that doesn't really matter, does it? We'll go zero, and then we'll go 1,000, all right, and then this will be um, flood, and this will be empty, perfect. Um, if those pumps aren't enough, we will add more or do whatever we need to to fix that problem, but hopefully it's going to work perfectly the first time. Uh, we fill that in like so, maybe we could just go like that. Uh, should we put some wedges on, just to help fill in the room a little bit? <laughs> uh, what was that? We go like this. And then we'll turn that around like that. That should be fine. Or maybe what we'll do, we'll just fill that bit in. Yeah, I don't mind. That's all right. All right, perfect. So that gives that a bit of room. That is all linked up. All right, I'll connect all these up and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I think we have to vent this room so the water can flood in and out easier. So to do that, we might just... Um, should we make something go straight to the outside or can just go into a different room? I think we could... Maybe we'll just get away with this. If we just went like... We'll put it up here. If we go pipe... We'll put a straight pipe in. I don't know if this is necessary or not, but I'd rather do it just in case. <laughs> I suppose um, someone will let me know if it's right or not. And then we need, um, what do we need? A fluid, like some sort of like end. One of these, a fluid port end. Is that what we're going to need? I think it is. If we went like that and then did the same on the other side. Is that right? I'm not sure. 
We'll leave it for now, but someone, if you can let me know, that'd be really good. <laughs> um, now, we'll put a lid on all of this. So, we'll have the roof fairly low in this room because it's the flooding room and I want as least amount of water in there as possible. So, it goes a bit quicker. And then, maybe this level, we could come up one more like that. Do you reckon? That should be fine. Um, and we'll do the same with the hallway and everything too. So, maybe we could... Oh, we'll do it on both sides. Fill that in like that. And then this room can be at normal height level as well. So we'll fill that into there. Perfect. So we've got this little room. We have the flooding room and the actual diving room. And then we have nothing. <laughs> um, we'll fill that in just on the top because why not? <laughs> and then we need a staircase to get up, don't we? So open up a bit of area for a minute. We'll just fill that in. Um, so how are we going to do this? So you can come up some stairs maybe at the end of the place. After you come in here, maybe you can go up and up like that. So we'll do that. Steps. Uh, whoa, up here. These ones, maybe we could turn them around like this. Kind of line up with, oh no, it's one out. That should be right though. Hmm. Maybe we could go like that. Put some of these in here. Now, how much room we got? One, two, three. Probably come over one more. Yep. So we can come to about there. That should be fine. Oopsie. <laughs> and then we'll do the same thing. We'll go like uh, this. Fill a little, a little spot to stand on. And then they'll start coming up again. So we could put a piece in there and put some stairs in. Oh, we'll get rid of these. We don't need them there. Um, actually, we don't need one of them there, actually. We could probably use just a normal stair, one of these. That'd be fine. Yep, we'll go up like that. Get rid of this. And we'll have to put some rails on it too, obviously. And these can come up to the next level, which is right here. Yep, awesome. And then that can all link up like so. Awesome. That is looking pretty good. Let's put some rails on. Um, we need some incline. That's a middle piece. Where is the end? There it is. All right. I'm going to put rails all the way up and then I'll show you what we've done when I'm finished. All right, guys. So here is our little staircase finished. It comes up on an angle and heads up here and to this deck. We have a problem though. I'd like to put ballast systems in at some point and these rooms are in the way. So we're going to get rid of them. <laughs> we're going to chop them right out like this. And this is where the water is going to go at some point, maybe in a couple episodes time. So all these controllers need to move to a new spot. So we're going to make that new spot up here. Um, we also have the door to the engine room up higher. So we're going to have to build like a little staircase that goes up to that. But that's fine. Um, now, I'd like to put a wall along hmm, maybe right here, I think, is the spot to put it. We'll put a wall along there for the bottom at least. Because we're going to have a front ballast and some propellers at the front to move the ship um, side to side from the front, which is going to be pretty good. But we won't do that today. But we need to make room for it. So... This will be where that wall goes to. So we'll bring this all the way to there. Oh, down one level. Yes, perfect. And we'll fill that into there. Get rid of that piece that I accidentally put there. Um, now, is that going to... You're going to hit your head on that, aren't you? <laughs> okay, we're going to have to get rid of a cut out of this, aren't we? So we get rid of maybe this much. That should be fine. Maybe we can just get rid of that whole bit. That'll be fine. And we go like that and like that. And that can be a wall. And maybe we could just have some rails that go along here. So we'll quickly do that then. Um, we'll go like, whoop, not turn that around, that way, that way, and that way. Perfect, and then have small rails go along there to here. Now, we're going to have to put some bedrooms and whatnot in at some point. So we'll bring, whoop, where are we? <laughs> bring that up to maybe somewhere reasonable about there. A bit more room to play with. And then maybe we could section that off like so. Awesome, and we'll have a little maintenance area you can get in to there if you crash into something. When we crash into something. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'll put some rails in now while we're here. Uh, we need some of these. Turn it that way. Go to there. Go to there. And we need to end this piece. Oh, grab that. And that there. And we need to grab one of these. And we'll chuck it right in the middle. Is that? Yep, that looks fine. Grab some more of them. And go all the way across, which is perfect. Awesome. Now, I'd like some windows. I love some windows. Uh, we'll come down to maybe this level. I think that's the right spot. Yeah, that should be fine. And then we'll put another one maybe here and another one right there. Perfect. We'll get some portholes. Chuck them right here. Is that out of the water? Ooh, that's right on the waterline. Oh, maybe we should come up one. Maybe we should come up one. All right, I'll do that. We've got like this. Yes, up to there. And we'll turn that that way, that way, and that way. Alrighty guys, so I've just actually moved the floor up by three blocks to line up with because I wanted the windows to line up on the outside because these ones were sitting down by a few blocks. So hopefully that's all good now. So this uh, leads straight into the engine room on the same level, which is really good. 
Um, so I'd like to have a couple bedrooms in here. Um, we're gonna put some more windows in as well. All right, so we'll just go like that. There's one, two, and three instead of the fourth one there. Um, right, let's go back down here. We're gonna have two bedrooms, one across from each other. Um, so we'll put one right here, and then the other one will be opposite that, which is perfect. Um, so we'll put some doors on. Uh, what are we gonna use? Some sliding ones with the lock. Yes, turn them around. We'll put them right, maybe we'll turn it that way. Put the doors maybe there, and we'll go like that. That should be okay. We'll put a little edge on this. Yes, and maybe we can put some sort of little kitchen or entertainment area or something, or maybe we can put like a, a little pool table or something. Be pretty cool. All right, guys, so we'll put a bed in here, obviously, because it's a bedroom. <laughs> we'll go like that, and we'll get a bed. Yes, and we'll put that along the window like so, and we'll get rid of all these extra blocks. Fill that in, and pop. Awesome. Very nice. <laughs> um, we'll come back and put lights in the whole boat at another stage. Not right now. Alrighty, guys. So I have this pool table here. I copied off another build. <laughs> um, I didn't make this either. I got off the workshop a long time ago. So we'll bring this down inside the boat into this room here. I think that's where we want it. Yep. Awesome. We'll bring that in here like a little bit of an entertainment room while we're traveling along. Um, we'll try and get that right in the middle if we can. What's that? About here? Yeah, we might actually just double check with the middle. That is the middle block there. Let's come over one block. Boop, boop, boop. Perfect. Get rid of that. Put this back here. Um, we'll put it right there. That should be fine. Perfect. And we'll paste that in. Awesome. <laughs> We've got a little pool table. Uh, pretty fancy. Um, now, we have a lot of area here, which we'll fill in as we go. I don't think we need to put anything there now. I don't really know what to fill it in with, to be honest. But we'll find something for it soon enough. Actually, what we'll put in this area is a little um, microcontroller room. So we can have all our controllers in there. It'd be pretty good. So we'll just do it on one side for now because we might use the other side for something else. So we'll come like this. This can have all the controllers in it instead of just a couple. So we'll go like this. We'll put some wedges in right there. Turn that up like so. Perfect. Um, we'll put a little door on here maybe. Should be fine. And we'll go like this. We'll just put one of these in and it can open on the inside, which should be fine. Yeah, we could probably come over one more with that actually. We'll go there. Perfect. Fill that in. And all those controllers that we have down the bottom can be pasted into there. So all of these, we'll grab this. Um, grab, clear, and we need to grab all of this without grabbing the edge of the boat <laughs> somehow. Is there any more above that? There's one more there. And that's going to grab that too. Hmm. We might just bring that up then like that. And we'll come back and get the other one after. So we'll move all this. Yes, uh, all the brains of the boat so far. Bring it up to here, move it in, and come up a few blocks like that. Yep, perfect. Uh, we'll come up one more, and we'll paste that in. Perfect. There we go. Nice. And we have these left, so we'll grab them. We need to try and keep these in the same orientation they're already facing. Um, so we'll cut that, bring it upstairs. Whoop. Yes, and up to here. Move it across, and we'll bring it in one more. I think up as well. Yep. Perfect, paste that right there. That should do the trick, very nice. Now that room is free, ready for the ballast system. Uh, we'll leave that empty, what's that gonna do? Nothing, what's this? Nothing, <laughs> got a lot of empty blocks here. Uh, what's that? Absolutely nothing, cool. <laughs> that's just because that comes in one. Oh, that's all right. All right guys, so I've been doing a bit of thinking. The only way we can get up and down from the garage to this floor is a staircase obviously, but we're gonna have to put it in here, I think. Um, so cut through the bedroom a bit and come down into a level here and then walk across. But obviously we've got stuff in the way up here. So my theory is what we're gonna do is we're gonna shrink this doorway a bit. So we're gonna grab all of this and we'll go down to there as well. Is that the whole bit? Yep. We'll grab that and we're gonna move it in one block like so. So we'll paste that in there. Hopefully this works. <laughs> uh, we'll put these back in for now like that. Is that? Yep, perfect. And we're going to do the exact same on this side as well. So we'll clear that, bring it across, and we need this piece, and we'll move it over one. Yep, and we'll paste that in like so, and all together like that. Perfect, and we'll drag that down to uh, there. Yep, awesome. Okay, so now we have a little bit of room to muck around with. So what we're going to have to do, this winch is going to move as well. But just for now, we're going to have to cut down into here. We'll fix that up later. We'll get some steps. Um, like this, we'll go white just for the moment. Now, is that gonna be enough room to walk in? One, two, three, four, six, seven. We might bring it forward one more like that. Should be fine. Get some stair steps and we'll turn them around and we'll come down like this until we can't go any further. So maybe uh, there, that's gonna be it. And then we'll have to have a floor on it. So we go here, there, that should be fine. That should be fine, actually there as well. Okay, we'll fill that in. 
end that piece. All right, this is going to look a little bit dodgy for now, but we'll fix it up, I promise. Um, then what we're going to have to do is have a little way that comes out here. We'll put some upside down wedges in so we don't hit our heads as hard anyway. <laughs> um, we'll fill that in. And now how are we going to do this bit? That's going to be there. Now we've got to come down a bit further. So we'll turn this one around like so. And then we'll go up like this. Yeah, like that. Down and one more. We'll go like that. Okay, that, that could work. We'll have to make it work. <laughs> it's the only spot we've got to do this. Um, now we need some rails. Uh, this bit here is also going to have some upside down wedges. Yes, right there. So we'll put them on first. We'll go upside down right here. Boop. Perfect. That should be fine. Yep, because we can come to this bit here because that lines up with the side of the door. So we've got that much room to play with. So we'll go rail. Uh, we'll get some corners. Come around like that and like that. I just realized these are going to have to come in one more like this. Uh, like that. Yeah. Sorry, this is a bit confusing for me, guys. <laughs> uh, we'll do our best. We'll come around like so. And then we're going to need an end piece, wherever that is. Sail end. Sail end. Segment end. Like that. I think this is what we need. Then this will be... Okay, we've got some blocks to play with there too, which is really good. Um, we'll sort that out after. We need some extensions. So we'll go like this, along to there, and along to there. And then we'll turn that down here, and we'll put some blocks up like that. Oh, if we could just go like that, that's probably fine. <laughs> um, now, this bit's going to look a bit funny, so we'll go like this, and we'll put just some wedges along there to make it look half legit. we go like that, turn that around. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> like that. Yeah, that'll be fine. So this winch is going to have to move, and the same with the other side, obviously. So we'll grab this like that, move it, and we'll just bring it out to maybe uh here if we just bury it in this little spot like that it should be fine just in here actually yeah so we'll paste that right there yeah and then this will just get filled in with some blocks but we'll do that after we'll go and get this side first and do the same thing all right guys something just like that should be fine um we'll fill in this little area over here with just some of these maybe if we come to there and we'll bring some blocks up like that come around and we'll do the same sort of thing here which is some wedges whoop perfect boom Alrighty guys, so I've just fixed up that little bit of paint that we had to do. We need to make the stairs yellow, so we'll do that real quick. We'll come all the way down like this, yes, and we come down like that. Now, before we go too much further, we need to fill in this area. So I think we'll put um, some blocks in like that. We'll get some wedges that go upside down, and we'll just make them flow down like this. That should be fine. Alrighty guys, so I've just filled in underneath the stairs. That's how it's going to be in the bedroom, which is absolutely fine, if you ask me. <laughs> And then we need to do the stairs. We need to finish painting these. So we'll go, oh, definitely not like that. We need to go down like so. And that piece. And we need to fill in. Hmm, we need some blocks for here, don't we? So we'll go like that, maybe. Maybe we could come out a couple. Go like that. Yeah, try and use up some of that horrible space there. Maybe we can have a piece that comes up there. Okay, um, that'll be fine. And we should probably fill in this area too. Because something doesn't look right here. So maybe we could go like that. And that can come out there. We'll have to use this little space for something. I don't know what. Maybe we can make it a cupboard in the bedroom, perhaps. I don't know. Um, let's put some blocks in there, too, so it doesn't look so funny. All right, we'll give everything a quick paint, and I'll be right back and show you what we've done. All right, guys, so I've done a lot of painting, and I've fixed up a couple of little things. I'll go and show you that now. So we'll head downstairs. Uh, we'll turn some lights on in here. Uh, so these are our stairs to get up and down now. So we go down here like this. Uh, next episode, we'll definitely be putting some lighting in down here because I haven't done that yet, and it's very dark. <laughs> but we have our little bedrooms on each side with that little piece for the stairs that cut out. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll have to put some lights in here as well. And we have all this living area. We'll have to put something in here, maybe like some sort of kitchen or something. And we have our microcontroller room. We have our engine room right here, which is nice. And we have the pool room, which is pretty cool. And we come down these ladders here, the steps. Come down here, and we have the diving room. And that doesn't actually do anything just yet. Is there water in there? Oh, there might be water in there. Wonder why. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway, that's our diving room. And then, obviously, we come down here. This will be where the side ballast is and the same on the other side. And then we can go into our engine room from here, which is pretty cool. But um, that is all we have time for today, guys. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.